welcome. Hey. Welcome. Uh, we are here again doing the September, September yes. Universal Young Box, which is da -da -da, Thailand, which you can yeah. kind of see already from the uh, above us. Yes. Uh, so there's no surprise there. <clears throat> now, in the past, which is our, oh, this is our third video doing this. Yes. We did, the first one we did a lot of the trivia up front. Uh, the second one. We, we broke it up. We broke it up. This time we're going to jump right into the snacks. And then we're going to do the trivia stuff after. So if you're not really into the trivia stuff, you just want to watch the snack stuff. Leave us a comment. Let us know which one you prefer. If you yes. prefer to listen to the trivia first and yep. then snacks. Or some trivia before snacks and then trivia after mm -hmm. or all trivia after yeah because there's three options here or so let uh, us know I what mean, you prefer like comment subscribe all that fun stuff mm -hmm. um if we if you have questions about anything we might could do like a q a type thing at some we'll point see. we'll see who knows let us know what you prefer uh, though out of those three options yeah ready i am ready all right here's this Let's for the Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, okay. We're good. Here we go. What do we want to start with? Ooh. Just grab? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. My bad. Uh, okay, what are we in? By the way, our camera is on our table, so there may be occasional... On our table, on the top of a video, or on a, of, a, of a board game. Board game box. So it may, there may be a little wibbly wobbly. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, can't be helped, really. Our first thing is... Uh, I think, is it this thing? Sure. Let's try this. This is some type of seaweed snack. Seaweed. It's okay, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Seaweed snack? Yes. What's the front look like? Oh, that smells not so good. <laughs> I think that's right here. Okay, cool. Oh gosh, please smell that. Okay, let's do it. Thailand, what's it? It's chicken larb flavor. What is larb? I don't know if I want it in there. <laughs> Ready? Uh, it's got, okay. So it's two-sided. It looks like it's got seaweed in it. Well, or on it. It says tempura seaweed. Oh. That would be why it looks like right. it has seaweed. Right. Okay, ready? Yeah. Wow. Smell is deceiving. Not the greatest. Mm. But not the worst. Ooh. It's very... Um, bland. Salty. I know. It's very salty. It's very salty, but it doesn't it have too, too much. There's a little kick afterwards, isn't mm -hmm. there? Like a wasabi almost. It has that kind of. I'm gonna give that. Not bad. I like the texture. Let's do a six for me. Check the book for me. Okay. And is it in the same? Sorry, order? guys. No, it's yeah. not. We're very disorganized. We are. It looks like this. It has a little person on the front of it. Hi, Tim. Here it is. There okay. it is. Yeah. So, first thing we try, not the first thing that we have here, but that's all right. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to give that a six. Six. I think okay. I will start at a six as well, um, and we'll, we'll go from there and see where everything else falls. Next thing. You mean to just grab something and we'll find it on there? Or do you really uh, want to go that's fine. Onion chips. Wasabi flavor, real veggie. Has a big onion on the front of it. See, my dear? Mm -hmm. Big onion on the front of it. Some of these, oh, here it is. It's down here. Okay. <laughs> right at the bottom. We're doing this randomly. We don't have them in a particular order. So if you like to do oh. it in order. Okay. These smells are very different. I have a feeling that these snacks are going to be very similar uh, in, in, in that regard. 
These are very gonna, light. They're going to smell different than they taste frequently. Ready? That's actual onion, huh? Uh-huh. Uh, by two. Um, ooh. They don't play with the wasabi in that one. It's like drenched in wasabi and then dry. That's for my tongue. <laughs> Are you okay? Our dog is whimpering because You don't eating. want any of this. We're eating and she is not. So, just ignore that. <laughs> I'm not taking her. Mm-mm. Oh, well. That's okay. That's all good. She's just going to be whining throughout because we're eating. She's not. No. That. It was good, but it was very spicy. So two. Two? It's, it's gross. I didn't like it. I, I normally like wasabi stuff, but that. I'm give it a four. Um, because, it again, it wasn't bad. Uh, you definitely had. Aftertaste is okay after you get the wasabi. No, you definitely going. had a very strong onion. Because it's basically just like thinly sliced. It's literally onion drenched in wasabi. Yeah. Um, that's all you get. That's what, it's, that's what it literally, is. Literally, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. What next? You want me to... Pick one. Pick one? Yeah. Pick one. Is she outside? I don't know. What do Snack Jack. Snack Jack. Shiitake, Shiitake mushroom, mushroom flavor? Yeah, I tried this. Yeah. By the way, if I keep, you should be keep glancing over here. That's where our computer is. I always say that in every video, but just so you know. Whoa. All right. What do they smell like? Mushrooms? It smells a little bit like uh, ramen seasoning. Interesting. Do you have low hopes for this? Very powdery. We shall see. It's green. It is green. Um, there are, are they are they they're pea crisps? I don't know. I don't know either. Let's Maybe try it. Jump in. Hmm. You know? These are bad. Um, I get very faintest hints. Uh, mushroomness. The very first crunch, there is no flavor. It's just crunch and salt. Yeah. And then you start to taste a little bit of the mushroom. And then the mushroom flavor is gone. Not bad. Um, the aftertaste is different. Different. Um, That's the only way to describe it. So it's vegetarian green pea snack. Presumably, it's green peas. That would explain. Mashed up and uh, made into crisps. Um, you definitely get a strong pea aftertaste. Mm -hmm. uh, -E you know what? I'm going to view that one as a seven because I could. I, I had seconds on this one, and that's the first one out of three that I've had seconds snack on. Snack jack. So. Here snack it is. Jack. This one. This. <laughs> we have two different snack jack treats. Yes. This one, I gotta make sure. So is you, the green smiley on front. You said seven? Yeah, seven. You wanna try the other snack jack too? Oh, I'm sorry, what are you gonna rate yours? I'm gonna give it a six. Okay. Um, again, not bad. Um, not amazing. Mm. So it's not in the nine. It was okay. It's like not in the, the eight to ten range, uh, but it's, it's good. Like, I, I didn't hate it, I guess one would say. What is this? This is broad bean snack Japanese curry flavor. Oh no. That's gonna be spicy. Let's see what happens. That is... We each have two glasses of water, just in case. <sighs> Fair water. Mm. Smells good. It does smell good. I like curry. Um, Curry's okay. Curry is very easy to overdo. Yes, it is. Um, but it's good. Let's try it. Let's do it. It has the consistency of Andy's fries, if you can recall those. Um, I like these. These have a kick at the end. They do. But... 
They're not too spicy. Mm -mm. And they taste very good. I'm gonna give those an eight. Those are pretty good. They are good. I think I'm gonna go with eight too. They're better than the pea ones. They the, are the better. Pea. I mean, the pea ones aren't horrible, the but pea. they're better. And again, can I stress this enough? It's P-E-A. That's important. Because the other pea is bad. You don't want that process in any Oh, food. dearie. I don't Gross. believe that needs a disclosure. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it'd be funny. It was funny. Me next. You next. Wait, I do. I don't know. What is this? That's a sausage flavored something. Oh, great. All right. Let's okay. go for it. First thing, it is Isaiah's. I don't know how to pronounce that because. Uh, you know, but it's got a little dude mm -hmm. with a cape. Can you guys see that? A little crazy looking dude with a cape peeking around behind a sausage. Uh, a sausage. A sausage? A hot dog? It's got ketchup on it. We'll try it. It is. Where is it? This one. Okay. Make sure I know where it is. Scissor. Uh, Put that over for me. Thanks. I could open it. But I don't want it to go everywhere, you know? Oh! They look like Tootsie's treats. What does it smell like? Smells like hot dogs and ketchup. That's what it smells like. Oh my gosh, it really does. <laughs> okay. These are little. These are tiny. So we're going to oh have gosh, a, a little okay. handful. They are teeny, tiny, little snacks. Yeah. Okay, ready? You remind me a little are bit we, of... Are we of going like, all in? Like squid. I'm, I'm going all in. Okay. Dink. Mm. Wow. Immediate taste. It's a hot dog. It's a hot dog. And then you get a little ketchup in there. Wow. I'm actually very surprised at these. That's good. It is good. <laughs> it tastes like hot dogs with ketchup. Like, if you took a hot dog... Obviously, the, the consistency is different. Oh, yeah, because it's crispy. Because it's little crispy chip things. But the taste is exactly a hot dog like on a plate by itself with ketchup on it. That's, that's an eight. That's good. I don't even like ketchup. But that's good. In general, but that's very good. Did I see that right? Where are those things at again? They were somewhere down here. Was that it right there? Yeah, that's it. Eight for you. Eight for me. I gotta give that an eight too. It's good. It's not 10 territory. <coughs> <coughs> All right. That's very good. Do we want to kind of try something sweet before we try? Any more? Well, we only have one more savory, but it's super spicy. You want to give ourselves a break for a minute? Yeah. Well, this is... No, wait. Is that, is that That's cookies? peanut chips. Oh, okay. I was thinking about trying these next. What do you think? Oh, sure. Like now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Peanut chips. Those are... Right here. Got it. Okay. Got it? Yeah. We have the official Yum Awards. Oh, uh, but We cool. just use it to like, put our marker, our grade. These are really neat. They have peanuts on them? Yeah. Like legit, oh, you got the only one that was not broken. Well, you want to No, it's all it? good. Okay. Dink. Here we go. Well, smell test, obviously very peanutty. Oh, hot, ah, okay. This is literally just straight up peanuts, there's no other flavor. Well, hang on. It is. It's like a less sweet peanut brittle almost. Um, I would agree with that. Here's the funny thing. Peanut ingredients, peanut, wild yam, rice flour, coconut milk, and sugar. That's all the ingredients. It's like thin crisps, and they just like glued mm. with sugar peanuts to them. <laughs> it's 
Good. That's good. You want to put that? You want to put that back in there or have, have half of it or whatever? It's good. You're not a big peanut guy. I'm not, but that was good. Like, I don't. For example, I don't figure like paydays. Mm -mm. Um, they're not terrible, uh, but I don't like. Man, I could really go for a payday. You know, it's not really my jam. I love peanut butter though. Mm. Um, consistency, I think, is a big thing for me. Mm -hmm. And it's it ain't, it ain't bad though. What are you thinking? You Seven? know, no, I'm. I've got to go. I have to go with an eight again because I can. I would snack on that if if that's what I yeah. per, I would purchase that to snack on. It. <coughs> it's not like the greatest thing ever made, but it's good enough to purchase it to snack on it. So yeah, I like that one. Ready for the spicy chips? Go for it. <sighs> spicy, spicy. My eyebrows are doing things. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is Hanami prawn. Crackers. So these mm. are shrimp flavored, hot chili flavored. Um, <clears throat> like literally, it has pictures of a shrimp. Of a shrimp on well, it. Well, they, they call it prawns, prawns which is just a name for shrimp. Really. Mm. I could be wrong on that. If any of you are marine biologists and want to correct me with comments, that's fine. <laughs> Go on it. My fingers are greasy from the peanut chips. <laughs> Rude. <clears throat> Do this. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, those stink. Wow, you smelled it from that far? Ooh, that's gonna be spicy. I'm excited. Yeah, get your nose. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I don't know if I want to try these. Twirly twirlies. Definitely can smell the chili. Okay. They taste like what the fish aisle in the grocery store smells. Really? I like them. Um, you definitely don't get the uh, fishiness at first. That's as soon as I got it. Uh, for me, anyway. I just got like, it's just like a corn chip. And then you get the, the, the residual flavors. Mm. Of the prawn. I'm good on those. It's gonna be a two. And, uh, oh yeah. Perhaps. Do you say? Mm-hmm. Are you done? Yeah. Cool. You can go there. Um, I'm gonna give it a seven. Mm hmm. I, I like do them. not like those. Not at all. I like them. All right, my dear. What next? This seems to be still savory before we get into the sweet stuff. Yeah, we're kind of. Stick going savory into sweet, kind of like like meal into dessert mm -hmm. uh, to kind of keep it yes. reasonable. Yes. Here we go. Okay, so this tears across. Okay. What is this? Big roll, grilled seaweed roll. Mm. It is Tom Young Gung Gong G O O N G, however you pronounce that in Thailand. Uh, flavor, tasty and easy. Cool. Now, a lot <clears throat> of these snacks, interesting kind of fun fact, a lot of these snacks have English on them. They because do. English is be quickly becoming the, the business language of the realm. Uh, because a lot of people speak it. You want to just take that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's way crap. Oh, I'm spicy. Huh. Oh gosh. Mmm. That tastes like the smell of the sea we got. Um, 100%. Uh. Um. <laughs> these. You give it a one. I'm going to give it a three. Um, again, I haven't hated anything in this yet. Um, that I one hate that one. Is, I don't think I'll eat any more of it. 
and put um, it in the trash. It's probably just like the last bat box with the, the haggis. haggis chips. Yeah. Immediately went in the trash for cleanup. Yeah, they were not good. Going in the trash. It's too fishy. Like if it was just a little bit less fishy, it would be a, a really nice, crunchy, no, savory treat to me. Mm -mm. I like fishy stuff though. Yeah, you do. Um, like I love. Salmon he loves and salmon. All that kind of stuff so. That is right up my alley, and that's why I didn't hate it. But it's it's not something that I would like. Given other choices within this, it's not something that I would like. Mm. Man, I really want that. Yes. Okay. Now we have we're getting into the chocolatey cookie type stuff. Uh, we have some. Oh, sorry. Ugh. Gross. <laughs> yeah. More chips. You, you oh, I'm do. just moving it closer. Okay. We got some jackfruit chips. I'm actually really excited. I have never had jackfruit before. This <clears throat> is real jackfruit. I think it's just jackfruit. I don't think it's otherwise flavored. Cool. Let's product, give it a try. Product of Thailand. Um, jackfruit, for those of you who don't know, uh, you want to cut, cut this over there. Jackfruit is used frequently in uh, vegan dishes that require a meat-like substance because it has a good texture. it. Ooh, interesting. Mm. Because it it has a texture and can be flavored in such a way to have a taste similar to Listen, meat. They sound like they're gonna break. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> But yes, that's true. I'm They're sorry. almost shaped like peppers, like dried peppers. Yeah. Uh, let's do Boop. it. Oh, wow. Ah. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you hurt yourself? Mm -mm. It's a little sturdy. Crunch. Mmm. That is such an interesting flavor. Like, you can't. You can't describe it. It's a little bit citrus, mm -hmm. but not really. It's got citrusiness. Mm -hmm. It's got sweet and tart together. Um, wow, that's good. Jackfruit and rice bran oil. Is it almost a thing? Wow. Uh, what is it? <laughs> Jackfruit and rice bran oil. That two ingredients. This is really good. Mm. It almost tastes like bananas too. It does have a banana aftertaste, like a banana-ish aftertaste. You know, my dear. Nine. 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 Is that nine for me? Which it's one? the yellow. This one. Mm -hmm. This one. I would agree. That's I'm, good. I'm giving nine. It's very good. That is something that if we had a bigger bag of, I would just grab and snack while we're playing Donkey Kong or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Which hopefully we'll get that up on the channel soon. Whenever Once we, we have, beat it. Whenever we have time to do that. We're trying to beat it first and then we'll be able to. It's rage mode. It's super fun. Okay. Banana chips with strawberry powder. Oh. Banana, strawberry powder, and rice bran oil. Like those sweet potato chips with plum powder from the uh, Taiwan. Those were like those were, I think donuts. Those, were, man, those were amazing. Okay. Amazing. Oh, they're pretty. They're pretty. They don't smell that great, but they're pretty. The, honestly, not a lot of this has smelled great. That's fair. Um, most of it has a smell that is distinctly different from the taste, uh, which is very oh, interesting no, that to one's me. Broken. Most of the time, or a lot of the time anyway, uh, your food will smell similar to how it tastes. Yeah, these... These are... These have... Now, some of them have smelled similar, but yeah. for the most part, it's been different. Sometimes wildly different. Oh, my. Mm. That's delightful. I Fun. think I'm going to have to do a round two. Mm-hmm. It has a delightful crunch. Um, it is strawberry banana, essentially, uh, flavored mm. crisps. 
What are the ingredients in this one? Is it like a little banana, thing? Banana, strawberry powder, and rice bran oil. Can't go wrong with that. Mm. We are both fans of bananas and banana-oriented flavoring. And even, strawberry. Even though artificial banana flavor is nothing like actual banana flavor. Or it's very mm. different. I think I want to give that one a 9, too, because that's really good. Uh. Mm. Okay, where is that one? Right here. I would agree. It is of the same caliber mm. as the previous one. No tins yet. Not uh, yet, but we but still have. Mines are few, real close. A few other things. What do, what do you want to do? Uh, let's do. We always save the hard candies for last, kind of like your, your lighter snack. This is sticky rice with coconut cream and mango. Product of Thailand. Uh, it had, It's gluten free. Cool. Which is cool. Huh? I was going to open it for oh, you. Oh, that's all good. Coconut milk, sticky rice, mango, sugar. That's it. Really? I really like Thai. Like, apparently, it seems that the U.S. is the only place where we add a bunch of junk that we don't need to Stockpile our food full of uh, other things, things that are unpronounceable, <laughs> like monosodium glutinate or MSG. Glutamate. That's what I said. I thought you said glutinate. <laughs> Glutinate. <laughs> it was cute. Glutinate. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay. So it's in like an MRE wrapping <laughs> almost. Is it like a goo? Uh, are, you, are you trying it before me? No, I just got it on my Rude. Listen. Rude. Listen. I'm so rude. Rudeness. <laughs> Oh, why? Having focus no, why? It's a solid mass. What is that in the middle? Why is it that color? Is it supposed to be that color? Yeah. It's just a gooey. It's literally. <laughs> it's like a gooey patty. It's like a Rice Krispie treat, but with but it's coconut. Gooey. I'm gonna take a bite. Yeah, go for it. Oh wow! Oh. <laughs> Weird. Oh my. Okay, that might be a 10. Um, it really worries me what we're eating right now because that's... It just has the three things in it. Here. But it's... It's gooey. That's how they made it. It has a consistency. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It has a consistency of mashed up bananas, if that makes sense. Like, or something that is a dessert with rice in it. Yeah. It's very soft. It mm. really has a nice texture. Uh, you know what, my dear? What's in the middle? That's what I don't know what it is. Is that the it's mango? Good. Maybe. It must be the mango. Why I think is the mango it? Got that. Isn't mango supposed to be yellow? Well, it's like dry or something. It looks weird. <clears throat> If it was bad. But the taste is amazing. If it was bad, you'd be able to taste it, I assure you. Mm. That's so good. <clears throat> We're eating all that mm. right now. No? Mm -hmm. Just eat it. Mm. That's a 10. That is a 10. What is that box look like? Here it is. That it? This is it right here. That's a 10 for me, too. Or a 10. Um, can you hand me, is there a napkin? We I forgot can, to get napkins. Uh, whoops. Oh, oh yeah, there's one. There's one. Let me fill my water here. Mmm. Bloop, 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 bloop. With a little ASMR happening here, too, when you pour your water. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I might try that one day. We'll see. Probably not. I just like watching it more than doing it. Mm. Wow, man, that was good. That is delightful. Is that the only box of that in there? It sure is. Boo. Mm-hmm. But. Boo. This is amazing. I want more. Later. Wow. We'll do that later. True. You want to just do this next? Or you want to do the, like, mango gummy thing next? 
Oh, let's what do that. These? Let's do that. These are coconut snack bites. Mm hmm. Rude. That could have been real bad. Oh, my dear. Smell these. Is there another 10, you think? What do you oh. think? From the smell, there's I'm, like six in say. here. Yeah. Oh, it's like it's like regular chip bags. It's literally it's like regular chip here. bags. Yeah. There's only like six in there. That's sad. That makes me sad. Oh, there's eight. Hang on. There's eight. Wow. I lied. Still, that's really pathetic, frankly. With cashew nut. Ooh. Ready? I am. Mmm. One percent agree. Wow. That's what this is on the top. This has a bunch of other stuff in it, but this is amazing. Mmm. I would totally buy those again if I knew that they didn't only have like eight in the pack. <laughs> <laughs> um. Mm. Delightful. Um, <clears throat> I love coconut, but it gets stuck. It does. It, it has, takes it's a like while sand. To, yeah. Not that you would eat sand, but similar <laughs> concept. It gets everywhere, and it's hard to sort out once it's mm. there. Except mm. for in, in, in the gooey tree, mm. which was wow. Both of those were amazing. Yeah. What's that? This is sour punk candy stick and mango flavor. Let's do it. Um, it has a crazy face. <laughs> uh, there, shows you there. See, crazy face, crazy face. I'm gonna see if this will open. Okay. I got skizzers. No need, my dear. Oh. Yeah, they're like sour straws. Neat. All right. You can smell. definitely smell the mango. And these, you can definitely smell the sour. These are going to be good. I, I know. Yeah. Mm. Well, they're shit. not too sour. A little bit. They have a little bit of sour. I'm gonna mostly do a, sweet. I'm going to do a nine on these. Yeah. Well, no, let me back up. Let me do an eight on these. I like the flavor a lot. Mm. But I don't typically buy something like this Shame. to snack on. I agree. I'm going to do an eight. I agree with that. That's mm. actually very, very rich for me. Really? I like it. I mean, yours is. <laughs> I love it. I love that um, richness. Mango. Mango's good. <clears throat> I am not over <clears throat> fond of mango, the fruit itself. Maybe I haven't had like it right. fresh. Like fresh mango. But mango flavored stuff is good. I like that a lot. Except for those crepes that we had. No, I like those. They tasted like clean. I took them to work. I ate them. I know. What's that? Juicy C. <laughs> spicy fruit gummy candy. So it's got. Peppers. You know what? There were a lot more of those in there. I wonder if there's a spicy and a mild version. You want to check? Well. Yeah, just swing the box around. It's all good. Sorry. It looks like it's all the same. They're all spicy. Never mind. Yeah. So it's pineapple and spicy. Spicy pineapple. Um, it looks like it's got real fruit juice with pineapple. That's good. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Oh, my. What? How are you supposed to be able to read that? <laughs> You need an uh, eight grams bucks. of carbs. Ingredients is what we're looking for. The ingredients is not in English. Okay, cool. Well, I started it, so go ahead and bust it open. Wow, that's really tiny. I don't know. I can't read it. I don't know how you. How, I mean, it, it, have, with a magnifying glass, maybe. Is that like fruit by the foot kind of a thing? Does it smell good? smells weird. Like, it smells like, that. oh, sorry. And it honestly just smells like fruit by the foot. Like like just a gummy candy. 
Ready? I'm excited. I'm sorry. Eek. Ooh. Okay. I'm on board with this. I don't understand the spicy part. When does that come in? This is pineapple spiciness. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. I feel it now. It's good. What's interesting to me? That's a little sour. It is. It's, oh gosh. It's very sour. And the sour builds. It's not like, it's sweet at first. That's spicy. You get halfway through it. It's kind of like the opposite of a warhead in that it starts out sweet and becomes sour as you chew it. And similarly, it becomes spicy. It the heat increases, but you don't get the pepper taste. It's still just the pineapple taste. That's weird. It's just hot. That is so weird. I don't mind that one. I very much enjoyed that. I'm actually. gonna do that one as a seven. I'm gonna give it an eight again. I'm getting pen all over me because this pen's too juicy. My tongue is still burning from that. <laughs> you want a you want a mango sour? Mm -mm. No. Um, I'm good. Okay. Again, we're trying to keep the pace here, um, but for you guys. Um, also, mm. any of these snacks. This is an important thing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're not sponsored by these guys. We just buy it because we like it. It's fun. Um, any of these snacks can be purchased at UniversalYums.com. Mm -hmm. You can also sign up to get your own box. All this that is stuff. quite the experience for us. Now, we Universal Yums, you want to sponsor us? <laughs> I'm all for it. Send us free boxes. We'll review them all day. Not really, because they're monthly. But you know what I mean. Uh, Cremo. Okay, so this is Jack and Jill brand. That's kind of rando. Choco um, Plus. Choco Plus. It's crunchy cookies with caramel, coconut flavored, with, wait, with caramel, coconut flavored, and chocolate. Show the, show the front? Uh, I'll show you the front. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Do you remember back yeah. in the day, the snack wells? I do. That's what it looks like. I, maybe it's just the green. They are... They must have, like, supervision in Thailand because mm -hmm. I can't read any of this stuff. Cool. Let's try it. I'm going to open it up. It's chocolate. How bad going it be? Oh, they're individually wrapped inside of this wrap. <laughs> maybe. Maybe I do. <coughs> oh, they're tiny. Just, just professional health is all I need. Mm. Therapy. No denying that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so they're little. They're, <laughs> of course, you. Think they're, <clears throat> they're little. Look like uh, <clears throat> about half dollar size. Oh, they smell good. It's like shortbread. <clears throat> oh gosh, here we go. Mmm. Okay. Number one, it's hard to go wrong with coconut and chocolate together. And caramel. And caramel together. Caramel, caramel. Amazing, right? Very good. Mm. Number two, these taste, other than consistency differences, <clears throat> these taste exactly like there's caramel, there's, I'm sorry, there's coconut caramel, chocolate drizzled, uh, Girl Scout cookies. Yes, what are those called? Whatever they're called. <laughs> they you. do. Just the texture is different, but the taste of it. I told you, I'm telling you, <clears throat> it's the same wow, thing. Wow, it is. <clears throat> Did you read both yours? No. Oh. Uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave mine for you. Okay, we'll say Later. it. Very good. That, that is a nine for me. Oh, so good. I would agree. 
I would agree. Hundo percent. Hundo. <coughs> Wait. Okay. We're we're getting down. We have two left, and then we have the candies, like the little candies. What we got left? Um, we have a Jack and Jill combo. This is Jack and Jill too. Yeah. It looks like. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Chocolate coated wafer filled with chocolate flavored cream. Caramel and rice crispy. This is also just almond chocolate. Just a bar of almond. You want to do this one first? Sure. Yeah, let's do that one first. <clears throat> some of these, by the way, some of these have two per box. Some of them have more. It just depends. Like like this spice. Ready? Oh, I'm sorry. I cut you off. I didn't. No, no, no. I wasn't paying attention to you. I'm sorry, dear. <laughs> Whoop. No. Again, love wafers. Love anything chocolate. My sweet tooth is huge. Ten. Yeah. Straight up. Ten. This one's going to be hard to pick the best one. It is. Not impossible, I don't think, but hard. We have three this time around that are 10 out of 10s. Do we really? Yeah. Oh, we do. We do. Well, and we'll talk about that kind of once, once we're done with the last. Last here. one and then the heart candy. Mm. It's hard to. Mm. The Almond and chocolate. The chocolate tends to stick. All right. <clears throat> My goodness. <laughs> Silly thing. Okay. <laughs> that works. Oh, they're little squares. Or did it break? No, they're little squares. Okay. Oh, how nifty. Okay. Oh, wow. This smells amazing. Ready? Yeah. I'm excited. So okay. Mm. So, she's kind of drippy. You push caramel. Caramel for me is a guilty pleasure, so to speak. Mm. Ten. Agree. Wow. Wow. Mm. Mm -mm. We're very Owen Wilson today. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny. I do like him. Oh. That. That gives us four. It's gonna be hard. To my pick dear, it's delightful. It is. You wanna, you wanna uh, put that open for me? It's, again, universal yums. Love your stuff. But if you could. Make your bag receivable with the little candies on it. Mm -hmm. It'd be a lot easier. Just pull it open. I don't know how much more that is. It may not be cost effective. I don't know how that works for you guys. Uh, <clears throat> but I, I do recommend that. <clears throat> there were three hard candy this time. Not a lot. Mm -hmm. There's three? Yeah, look, there's three. Oh, cool. Okay. We got a sour one, sour bomb. We got one that looks like it is lemon, like a tea almost. It is. It's called lemon iced tea candy. Lemon iced tea candy, and then I have no idea what this one is, but it looks like something either lime or I think it's lime. Okay. That's a lime. Yeah. You want to do the sour one first? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. I reckon we'll do that one first. Zour bomb with a Z. Yeah. Oh no. Oh my gosh. This I can see the sour powder on it. It's got that oh man, this is like a warhead. You ready? No. Heartburn time. My 
my tongue is numb. <laughs> I can't. I can't make it through that. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, okay. Once you get past the sour, my foreheads, it's sweet again. Mm -mm. Um, I'm good if I don't get to that part. Mm. It's almost like fizzy. Here, you want to try it sweet? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Mama bird it to me. <laughs> yeah. It's reminiscent of uh, root beer, actually. Is it? Mm-hmm. So yeah. you can't push through? Drink some water with it and like swish it around. <laughs> That's hilarious. I believe you. I'm good. No, yeah. it tastes very soda-like after you get past it. Ooh. Like the sour is just very sour. It kind of feels like my lips are burnt from that. I can see that. I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Are you done? Or you want to finish it? Here. Are you? Do you want to finish it? Go for it. I, I don't want to bite it. Okay. I don't. Sorry guys, we're so classy here. We are so classy. We stay classy. All right, what we'll be doing next? Mm. Mm. Don't try this at home, kids. Or do you, try it at home. Do try it at home. That's what it's made for. Yeah, let's do the lime one next. Okay. I don't even know what it says on it. I don't either, but it looks good. Please Does it don't really have a smell? It's interesting because oh, it's a it's heart a shape. It's a heart. I thought it was a square or cube at first, whatever. Boop. This tastes like church candy. Church candy. Mm -hmm. Candy that you get from some like older people give you. <laughs> In church when you're a kid. It tastes like it's very it's lime. Obviously it's lime flavor. It has a salt aftertaste too. Yeah. It's very good. Like margarita style. We didn't read the other one, by the way. Um other one I couldn't get through it, so I can't vote on that one. Oh. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna give it a uh six. Because again, it wasn't bad. This one is salty. And lime. It's very weird, but it's very refreshing. It's like a, it, it's, it's very quenchy in terms of your, like, thirstiness. Mm -hmm. I could see, like, most of the time when you eat hard candy, I, at least for me, I tend to get thirsty afterward. Mm -hmm. I don't think that would happen with these. Mm -mm. Um, it's a weird thing, though. Because it's not, it's not super sweet. It has sweetness in it. It's mostly salty. I have a little bit of tartness when you bite into it. Yeah. I like that one. Good. Okay. Would I buy it <clears throat> if it came in a variety mix? I'm gonna do a five on that one. Okay. I, I I I would have it again. It was a seven. I like them a lot. They're very, again, they're very refreshing. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Chewing them up. The taste reminds me of uh, Fruit Loops. I don't get that at all. I just get lime and salt. That's or all I get. What is that? It's a they cereal. Goodness, it's just a cereal. It tastes like a, the after effect tastes like a cereal. I want to say it's Fruit Loops. I be Fruity Pebbles. They're similar. Tricks? Tr 
tricks. That's what it is. Tricks. Yes. That's what it is. Yeah. That's amazing. Good job. I, I, I get where you're coming from. <sighs> this is the lemon iced tea candy. It's much smaller. <coughs> How neat. It looks like a pill. It looks like a pill you would take. Oh my gosh, it does. And it's shaped very much like the, the Werther's candies. It is. Uh, which I guess is just the way they Boop. make <laughs> That tastes like the artificial, like... Nesty. Or brisk. Well, that's what... Brisk or is it? Okay. It's nesty brand. Wow. Huh. Or like the powder tea that you can get. Yeah. And add to water and make that weird artificial tea. This is good. actually pretty quenching as well. It is. Um, it's a different kind of quenchiness. Mm -hmm. oh. Now, back to the other one real quick. That Trix aftertaste, I don't, I haven't had current uh, Trix, so I don't know if it's different, but like when we were kids, Trix. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm back, still focusing on this. I'm sorry. Back when the cereal was actually shaped like fruit and, <laughs> and not just a little ball. Uh, back before uh, General mm -hmm. Mills got cheap and just made their tricks and just balls <laughs> shaped like everything else. Mm -hmm. You know what? That's I like good. this one. Oh, it's very good. I want to give this one a six. Okay. I'm spitting them out not because I don't like it. It's just yeah. a lot of sugar right now. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. We have to pick one for the top dog, don't we? We do. Okay. So, most of our tins are chocolate oriented. I say, oh, no, not most, half. Half of them are. The two chocolate bar things uh, that is to say these like the, the wafer and this here's the thing okay we can get other versions okay. americanized versions of that exactly. so let's exclude those even though those are fantastic okay that's great i would agree with that so we now have is the coconut snack bites right yes we have the coconut snack bites or and the, we have the the mango mushy, rice sticky gooey rice. stuff. Where's your um, hand me the paper towel, please? <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Again, same. I really like it, but we gotta move on. Okay. Oh, we're doing that try. Yeah. Watch my finger. <laughs> I love that so much. That's so the good. The texture is so weird on that. It's amazing. It is. I love the texture on that. It's like rice pudding. Mmm. That's, that's been, been packaged. That's been condensed uh, and like my like very slightly dehydrated, so it's like sticky enough to be a powder or like a powder. A uh, goo. Goo. <laughs> a patty. These, oh, these. I'm a sucker for coconut. Anything coconut is very good to me. For me, it's these. That's no? my top pick. Because this has not just sweetness, but a little bit of salt. And it's very, you could eat a whole pack of these and not get sick if you know what I mean. Like. It's not over, yeah, that's overpowering. Fair. For me, it's this. This is my top top dog. For me, it's the other thing. For you, it's that. Is this? And let me tell you why. Consistency <clears throat> for us is very important. Always has been, mm -hmm. uh, or at least since you know. Yeah. Uh, texture is is an important aspect of food. Uh, it is. And while the coconut snack bite things have a, an excellent texture, 
it's expected. Uh, it is um, something that you can get. You can get that texture in other things, uh, certain crumbly cookies, that kind of thing. That's fair. Um, the sticky rice and mango thing. Totally unexpected. It's totally unexpected. It's really tasty. <coughs> um, it's almost like marshmallow, even. Like it's very, it's very fluffy. Airy. It's airy. But not um, crisp. But not crisp. It's the strangest thing. Um, but it's amazing tasting. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going with that one. Okay. No. I'm still sticking with these just because I like, I, th mm. those are my pick. We know how to run long. What time? What time that? We're at 56, 56 minutes. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Sorry, guys. We like to talk about food, um, which is why I think us doing this is very good. Um. Now we're going to move into some trivia. We moved to trivia. If that's not your jam, great. Uh, we probably won't spend a long time doing this, uh, just because. We're gonna read through the questions again and yeah. find the answers, and that's pretty yeah. much. Can it. you identify these Thai cities based on what they're known for? Um, here, what kind of? Uh, oh wait, that's right. Okay. Hill tribes, art, floating markets, candle festival, and beaches. Um, and we have the city options are uh, Chiang Mai, uh, Phuket, which sounds like a very uh, sweary American phrase, uh, Chiang Rai, Bangkok, and Uban. Rajathani, Rajathani, Rajathani. I don't know how you pronounce that, but um, cool. Very crazy. Bonus question: Is Thailand located in South Asia, Central Asia, Southeast Asia, or Northwest Asia? I think it's Southeast. Southeast, Asia. isn't it? I think it's Southeast Asia. I don't know. I don't ah! know. How. Southeast got the Asia. Is it right? Yeah, it's right there on the back Sweet. of this little booklet. Very good. Very cool. So we're going to go through these six questions next. Oh, I'm sorry, are you done with that? Yeah, I reckon so. Is there anything else on there? There's Besides a the secret puzzle. puzzle. Okay. <clears throat> cool. All right, so we're going to go through, through these six trivia questions and look at the answers as we're going through them. And after that, we will give and try to figure out the hint to the next box on the back oh, of this yeah, also. the next box. Okay. So, okay. We're not going to read. There, there's a there's a couple paragraphs right here, right on the first page, yeah. about it. We're we're not we going to read that. We want to leave a little bit of suspense for you Indeed. when you get your own Universal Yum box. Again, Indeed. not a sponsor yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> All right, number one in Thailand, you're not allowed to touch anyone on their a nose, okay, b shoulders, okay, c head. Or defeat. Ooh, that's a toughie. I'm gonna say feet. I was thinking feet too, but what about shoulders? Because if you're touching somebody, it could be something goofy like nose too. I'm gonna say shoulders. You say feet. It's, it says you're not allowed to. <clears throat> you're not allowed to. Okay. You say feet. I say shoulders. I'm gonna say feet. Ready? Number yeah. one. You are not allowed to touch somebody on their head. Oh. An important. Heads up when visiting Thailand. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, wow. That's silly. Okay. Um, in Thai culture, the head is considered the most important part of the body, so locals are forbidden to touch anyone's head, not even a child's. Wow. Okay. It is also <laughs> customary to bow your head when greeting elders in order to show proper mm. respect. Mm -hmm. That's a very common Asian thing. Yeah, it is. Mm. All right. Every year, locals throw a party for this animal. Monkeys, snakes, elephants, or tigers? Thailand? Elephants. I think it's elephants. Is it really? 
No, it's monkeys. It's, it's, okay. No. It should be elephants. Rude. Every November, the village of Lopuri. I don't know. L O P B U R I. Okay. Throws its annual monkey festival, a giant buffet dedicated to the local. How do you pronounce that? Macaque. <laughs> Some type of uh, monkeys. The elaborate spread of meat, fruit, vegetables, ice cream, and soda costing 15000 U.S. dollars is the town's way of thanking the monkeys for attracting thousands of tourists. Now that's bananas. It, it is. It really says that. It is bananas. Okay. Number three. We're halfway through. Well, we will be halfway through. It is traditional for Thai men to what? blank. I'm having fun over here while you're reading the questions. I'm not saying this. <coughs> it is traditional for Thai men to blank before the age of 20. <laughs> There's only four answers. Okay. Uh, Swim the sharks, become a monk, grow a beard, or capture a python. It sounds... Oh it has, sounds like capturing a python. It really does. Um... That sounds like a question that they would have on Fibbage. Yeah. <laughs> you could put any kind of crazy stuff Yes, in by it. the way, Fibbage is a great game if you have may, We may do some of that on this channel at some point. But so, I'm saying capturing a python. What do you say? That works for me. Become a monk. Oh. Buddhism oh. is highly regarded in oh, Thailand. Right. Yeah. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Okay. So it's customary for young men to become monks for a period of time. By doing yeah. so, these boys honor the spirits of their deceased loved ones while learning the guidelines of Buddhist life. While some choose to spend their entire lives in the monkhood, the typical stay is about three months. How neat. Interesting. And that's where they learn to use their key points for things like step up the wind. Which lets you double your movement speed as a bonus action in Dungeon Dragons. <laughs> Sorry, that's probably a number four. Rude. I apologize. <laughs> I love Dungeon Dragons. In Thailand, it is considered okay. good luck to give two blank <clears throat> as a wedding gift. No. Pink or orchids? Or or orchids. Orchids. Yeah. They're flowers. Siamese cats, mm. bowls of raw rice, or green parrots. I'm gonna. I, I'm between the pink flowers or the bowls of raw rice. I was thinking the rice too. <coughs> I'm um, gonna say the or <coughs> orchids. I'm That's gonna say answer. the rice. Okay. It's Siamese cats. That's weird. These majestic felines with bright blue eyes, bright, bright <laughs> blue eyes, originated in Thailand, which was once known as Siam, hence the name Siamese. These unique cats were adored by royalty who believed the animals carried the souls of those who passed. Today, the Siamese remain one of Thailand's most treasured species, thought to bring good fortune to newlyweds. How very cool. That's very cool. Number five. Which of the following <clears throat> familiar foods originated in Thailand? Red Bull energy drink. Heinz ketchup. Jelly Belly jelly beans. Or Gatorade sports drink. Well, okay. I know that Gatorade sports drink was originated in Florida mm -hmm. uh, for the Gators. Uh, Heinz ketchup was somewhere here. Somewhere here, I think. I would say the Red Bull energy drink. I'd say Red Bull as well. Hey, hey you got one right. <laughs> Chalio. You Vidya of Thailand, I probably butchered that name, first developed an energy drink called Kratin Dying in 1976. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just sounding it out as <laughs> phonetically it. possible. No, keep, as a refreshment for rural, I can't say that name, rural workers. You got rural. It. The unique, <laughs> the, the, un <laughs> the unique drink inspired Austrian Dietrich Mateschwitz 
to create a similar version to suit Western taste, adding carbonation and using only half the caffeine. Only half the caffeine. Whoa. It's like there's a drink that uh, we saw at a place we went to today that we'll be talking about later in a different video. Uh, the drink called Balls. B A W L Z, I think is how it's spelled. Uh, it was really created for like gamers and gaming conventions and stuff. Uh, it has like, I think it has the same caffeine as like eight cups of coffee. That's crazy. It's absurd. And the two men co founded the Red Bull Company in Thailand. If you're looking for an extreme boost with the original double caffeine recipe, you can still buy. Creating dying D A E N G in Thailand today. Dying again. Dying. Okay. Yeah. Thailand holds the Guinness World Record for the longest national anthem, noodle, living twins, or city name. City name. City name. We kind of already. City saw name. It, that's okay. Oh, I didn't see that. No, did, did you, you didn't. No, no, I did. Sorry. No. <clears throat> We're talking about the city of Bangkok, which boasts the full name Krung Krungtep Mahanakan Amon Ritanakosin Rahantira Atara rather uh, Ayuthaya Mahadilk Dilak Fop Nofarat Rachatani Buriram Udam Rachaniwet Mahasatan Aman Himan Watan Sathit Sakathatia Witsankam Prasit. Prasit. Also, that is an incantation to cast various spells. <laughs> the locals don't normally use this name. An impressive number can recite it in full. We'll just stick with calling it Bangkok. For reals. Wow. It sounds like something that you would hear in a like fantasy movie. It is. Where they're trying to like summon something evil or whatever. But like it's not really it sounds like gibberish. <laughs> but you know. It's cool. But very neat. I'm sure it means something. Oh, 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 okay. And last thing is on the back, at the very bottom, there is a clue to next month's box. <clears throat> yes. There's more to, to this country than what's on the news. Rainbow cathedrals, wood dolls, and felt shoes. Plus meat jelly. Baked milk okay. and black currant sweet. Forget all the politics and get ready to eat. Hmm. Black currant. The answer for this is a secret clue. I don't know what all this is, but who says this fruit is only for breakfast? In October, we're bringing you dark chocolate with some kind of Ten letter fruit name. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think that that's. Oh, grapefruit. 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 Hmm. Are we thinking it's like upside down. Switzerland? I don't know. Do you know the I guess we'll find out next month, and we will be back next month. I have no idea. With the next box. Yes. We'll try to shorten the little again. 20 snacks. Universal Yams, I'm serious. We love you guys. Oh, dearie. But, put this up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Unless you want to, and then we're all for it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.